Hey everybody and welcome to episode 4 of Let's Play Crash Bandicoot. My name is Shadowrun1989 and today we're gonna do Up the Creek. And the Ripperoo boss battle as well, by the way. In the last episode we did uh, the last three levels of, of um, the first island. We made it uh, through pretty well. I did die a few times, but it's not okay. It's not too bad. Didn't feel like I failed a lot somewhere. Didn't get stuck, so yeah. It was fun enough. Now we're going to go through um, the second of these types of this this type of level, uh, which is the, the the first car part is called uh, upstream, I think. And of course, this is just going to be a more di difficult version of that, as I demonstrate by immediately falling into the water, like an idiot. So again, the red um, piranha plants only snap when they when we jump on them. And the blue are on a timer, so they bite every once in a while. As you can see there. This is, uh, actually, we should be should be getting near a checkpoint. Yes, there we go. Oh, almost fell off. Yeah, of course, these lily pads, they, uh, they they sink when you stand on them for too long. And I think the, the music in, in, in the game is quite, you know... Compared to like Mario, in Mario the music is quite present and here it's kind of like a calming background thing, so... I kind of like it. And it suits the, the theme very well, so like... I don't know, it's, it fits the the jungle... You know, wilderness type of uh, thing that it's got going on. Oof! I thought it was gonna bite me there. So yeah, that's the third, the second Tana icon. We get one left and then we can do a save, and then after that we have Ripperoo waiting for us. Ripperoo is, I, I, I think, considering his name, is probably a kangaroo which was experimented on much like us. And he's a boss that makes his return again in uh, in Crash Bandicoot 2 and in the, um, Crash Team Racing. Two more lives and 23% complete. And again, the frame rate drops to a very low number. Now we just have to finish the level. And there's the end already. So yeah, now we go to the second boss battle of the game, which I think is, um, is a much more fun boss battle than the first one is. Yeah. We missed two boxes. I know where they are, but um, I didn't want to get them because they're kind of hard to get. And here's Ripperoo. So yeah, he's um, a bit of a lunatic, as you can see. He's in a straight jacket. And he bounces around and... Uh, oh yeah. Oh god. We have to jump on the big TNTs and hopefully they will explode next to him. And then every time you do this, um, every time you do this, he uh, changes pattern. So what we're gonna do is now jump on this TNT. And apparently that hit him. Okay, how is he gonna jump now? Is he gonna jump in just in a big? Um okay, the downwards per pointing arrow. Okay. Okay, we can manage this. We're gonna wait for the other one to show up. Now we're gonna wait for him to get there, yes. And now hopefully that will hit him. Yes it did! And now I think he will start jumping into a big... Yeah, he's, first of all he's gonna jump the other way around. Uh, he's gonna jump clockwise now. And also he's gonna... Jump, um, I think we have to activate it now. In a... I don't know what it's called. Wow, I don't know what it's called. That's just, uh, the, the 
it's not a square, but it's slightly discorded square. Hmm, I'm gonna have to look that up and maybe add an annotation, but knowing me, I'll probably be too lazy. But yeah, we beat uh, Ripperoo quite handily there, as you could see. And uh, that that's where I'm gonna cut the episode, because I want a boss battle to be at the end of the episode. Which means that this part is probably gonna be a lot shorter. But thank you guys for watching anyway, and I'm gonna see you in episode 5, where we'll see a new, a new level theme in the Lost City. Thank you guys for watching, and bye bye